Ahoy, salty dogs! Welcome to vanilla Minecraft. Uh, we spawned in in a roof forest, it looks like, and uh, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. But I bought, I wanted to, before we really get started, like a path here? This is weird. Before we get started with uh, with this, I wanted to make one or two changes in the settings. Um, as you can see, I'm left-handed. So now I can make my Minecraft character left-handed as well. So that'll be fun. Um, one other change I wanted to make before we really get into playing this is in the languages settings. There's a pirate option. So of course we're going to do that. Um, let me find it quickly. Where is this? Here it is. Pirate speak. And R. All right. Plundered and plundered so return to the fight <laughs> this is amazing okay so we're gonna play as pirates uh now the first thing we want to do to get started this path is weird why is there a path here <laughs> let's follow this path oh it's jace machine ahoy jace machine Oh, hoy, Lens Cap. What are you doing in my dark, dark forest? Your dark, dark forest. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of the unofficial mayor of uh, Phobia Town. Phobia Town? Okay. Tell me more about this Phobia Town. Apparently, we have stumbled upon your uh, your humble town. Or it's not so humble? humble? Town. Well, it's a humble town. Uh, yeah, come on down this uh, pathway here. We have a lot of other uh, people living here. Oh. Exciting and happy place. Hey, can However, I? Do you have any food I can get from you before we? I, oh, sorry. I was, I was, I was just gonna say. However, you can starve to death if you're not careful. So I'll throw some chicken your way. We have uh, an automated ch cooking chicken machine uh, down in town that uh, Fuse MC built. You oh. know Fuse? Yeah, he plays on Star Squad with us. On the Star Squadron server. Yeah. Oh. Automatic doors, sorry. You're fine, you're good. So this is the the spawn right here. This is the spawn of uh, Phobia Town. Um, Phobia Town should, doesn't really have a better name at the moment. <laughs> but I'm... if you come up here, you can take a look at the and see the lay of the, the immediate land. Okay, so let's uh, let's view around. I see a couple tree houses going on. Those are popular. Those are popular. Which is funny because this place is highly flammable. <laughs> okay. There's there's lightning storms and large swaths of the forest have been burned away. Um, do you see that well-looking thing behind you across the pond there? Yes, yes. That that has a bit of nether brick and a button. I see that. That is in case of fire. You'll find one of those on the four corners of town. And one in the center, it looks like. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, okay. I, I it. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. But we've had people's uh, buildings burned down. They've made them out of wool, and, and, well, that just doesn't work. I don't recommend building your structure out of wool. I've noted. Duly. Okay. Good. So, welcome. Uh, if, if you'd like to move here, we don't have taxes. Oh, I like no taxes. We do require that you build a house of some sort in the vicinity of town, which means anywhere along the river on either side of the river or within the main town body itself. It actually is a pretty large plain that goes off over into the distance there. Okay, so, I could do that. Uh, once you've built a house, you are welcome to go anywhere in the world and build yourself a base. Ah, oh, this is pretty. This is pretty awesome, actually. It's, it's next level. Now we're trying to to connect all those rivers, all the rivers, and we're trying to connect them to the South Rivers, uh, down to the ocean, which is down that way somewhere. Also, there's a marsh down in the south. To the uh, east mm -hmm. is uh, mountains. Okay. That I off see. in that direction, and uh, we uh, we haven't. I personally haven't seen the outside of the. Uh, the roof forest it's it's pretty pretty extensive and it's dangerous i like danger i laugh in the face of danger <laughs> danger <laughs> danger hue uh let's go get you some basic equipment or show you where you can get some basic equipment oh yes okay in the center of town we have a message board so if you find anything interesting of note such as spawners people will write those down the coordinates so that other people can go and make grinders out of them. Oh, nice. 
I don't have a way to turn the uh, the storms off or like the rain off. So if if you hit the button, expect it to just stay stormy, and we don't really want that unless you want skeletons. Ah. Well, that's up to you. That's up to you. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying. In here, I think we have some random lost and found stuff. You're welcome to keep any of that. What is this called? Vast container, because <laughs> the pirate <laughs> language. Okay, oh, I'm gonna have to, Yeah, it renames everything. I'm gonna have to uh, craft in them with an apostrophe. My inventory is called loot bag, so I'm gonna have to learn <laughs> what how to translate from pirate. But this will be fun. That's great. <laughs> yep. So the rules number one: don't be a dick. And then Good rule. Uh, the second rule is don't crack the end because uh, we basically we go in as a group. We're pretty much ready to do that. So one of these weekends, we're going to schedule a group thing and, and maybe get all drunk and uh, fight the dragon. Oh, yes, the drunken dragon. Sounds like a yes. fantastic tradition. It's an annual tradition. It looks like it's starting to get dark. So here's the grotto. A pirate like you should appreciate this. I will definitely appreciate this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And the new and the boats. Yeah. The river system is a pretty useful thing around here. And like I said, we've been trying to connect them so that one could eventually get in boats and travel all the way to the Southern Ocean in the rivers. So whose is this Viking ship? This is uh, Jolt's girlfriend's. Uh, her name is Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Oh, okay. Appropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, the little uh, pagoda tower over here on this island, this is uh, this is New, New Edo. It's Gmodisms, and he's making a tiny Japanese-style city. Oh, interesting. He likes his cities. He does. He certainly does. Man, these boats. I know it's not new. <laughs> like, it's, it's new to this update, but this update's been out for a while. Yeah. But it just feels so much nicer to run around in those boats. Yeah, the boats are great. All right, so here we are. The main, uh, the main thoroughfare fares through town. We're eventually gonna upgrade them from dirt to actual, actual roadways. And maybe I can help with that. You're welcome to pick up any projects that you want. Uh, anything that makes town a better and happier place. The, like I said, this treehouse compound is at Robin Shields. It's very nice. Yeah, it's coming along. Here's another in case of fire button. Here's the steakhouse I was talking about earlier. I'm going to build a, um, a Shinto arch right here. That's what oh. these are for. Oh, very nice. Dig house. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> very inappropriate. Very inappropriate. <laughs> and, but yet, it suits. It's, I don't know why it's, ca it's called that. It has. We don't sell chicken here. It's all steak, but... Yeah. I, How does it work? Oh, it's it's still being worked on, so I can't actually give you a demonstration, but I'll tell you how it works. In theory, water fills this entire area, and then it flows half of the cows down into the chute, while the other half is separated for future breeding. Aha. Uh -huh. And it's a double feature. I got it set up twice here, basically. So I'm able to, to handle high-capacity cows. They will come down into this area they drop down here and you get to watch it as your fresh beef travels towards the oven <laughs> it's definitely family friendly it is so the cow will travel this way and will end up inside this area at which point a button will be pressed and as you saw on the other side lava will come out for just a brief moment just long enough to singe those things and then as the fire consumes their bodies in mass their meat is cooked and distributed into the chest below your feet. And there's 10 iron in there for now. That's magnificent. It sounds delicious. I hope you uh, can get it working. Oh, um, I've made it work before, and uh, I just have to spend some time putting it together. Redstone always... I can do redstone just fine, but it drives me nuts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, trying to see if there's anything worthwhile here. Bloody beetroots in here. Bloody beetroots. Those bloody beetroots. This is a mine. Oh, they call it magic powder. Redstone is called magic powder in this All language right. thing. It's magic awesome. Powder. That's hilarious. 
some caves I've been slowly clearing out. Any of the caves that are below town are open for anybody to, to wander and claim whatever they find. I'll show you where you get free food and free gear. I like free. I like free too. Simultaneous mooing. Mm. Cows are mm. excited. Mm. Oops. All right. As it is setting, the sun sets once again. Let's run. There's mages. Uh, tower keep something. Okay. Yeah, I've seen him working on it in and videos. This looks like it's something a mage would have done. It's very much his style. I could be wrong. This looks like an automatic melon or pumpkin, automatic. possibly, farm. It's both. Pumpkins. Free, free pumpkins. Oh, I heard an arrow go. Is that a skeleton shooting at us, or...? Nope, that is the sound of chickens being born. This is your free chicken box. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I will take one stack. In town, we like it to be as cushy as possible, but outside of town, you're on your own. This is the sunken treasure, a large treasure chest of vast, vast wealth. Oh, saddles. If you come in and look at... Free saddles. Free name tags. Free magic books. Free magic bows. Yes. Oh, beautiful. This beautiful. That uh, that um, Fuse put together. I got hung up. I, I, uh, I like this. I like this. Okay, okay so this is kind of like our shopping district. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, there is a trade district over here, private trade, that Fuse runs. So if you want to trade with villagers, that can be done along the side of his property. Uh-huh. We got an incoming uh, zombie here. Fuse's house is this one on the edge, and he built this, which is the grinders. So Grind? Look, okay. Yeah. Slime and arrows and bows. Oh, my. I see you've got another portal here. Let's uh, let's check out the nether. Let's check out Zeneza. This is quite a beautiful portal. Yeah, does the trick. Whoa. Now we have a guy on our server called Hookerstein. Ow. Okay. Hookerstein, um, he usually explores the hell out of the nether and makes these wonderful tunnels that just goes to go to places. Blaze spawner. We have a blaze spawner this way. Fascinating. Okay. Witch hut in a desert. Thank you, Robin Shield, as signs for us. Oh, bless his little heart. <laughs> bless his jamming little heart. All right, back. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's only so safe, and I, I think we kind of like it that way. Yeah, I like a little uh, the oppor the opportunity for that to be dangerous at the very mm -hmm. least. I think that um, that Fuse may have some extra skeletal horses, so if you really want a tame skeleton horse, you might be able to find some on his property. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I've got a lot of prep work to do, really, before I even get started building things. So. Yeah, absolutely. But hey, thank you so much for the tour. I'm uh, I'm happy to I'm excited to play on the server. Right on, man. Sounds great. Let's get it. I want to take a picture with you. Okay, here I'll do one as well. Okay, we're gonna take that picture and uh, oops, wrong button. There we go. Say cheese. Yay. We're awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a memory. And then we got the sun rising behind us. It's beautiful, man. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, thanks for the tour. I'll uh, see you soon. No problem. If you have any problems, uh, um, uh, send a letter to the office. <laughs> Will do. Later, man. Bye. I'm pretty excited to play with these guys. Um, so I think this is going to be really fun. I appreciate you guys uh, bearing with me while I kind of get this audio situation sorted out. I know it was a little weird. Um, during that last little bit, but I think it's gonna work out okay. Um, anyway, I figured we would start off by at least getting some basic materials together. You know, like a crafting bench and some stone tools, that kind of thing, um, before we really finish up the video. Otherwise, what have we really accomplished?
Oh, a skeleton. Okay, we don't want to do it right here. Oh gosh, okay, but I don't want to mess up this beautiful forest, so maybe we'll go elsewhere <laughs> to gather our materials. Um, oh, you know what? I'm the only one online, so let's go sleep in Jake's machine's bed. <laughs> and then uh, make it night, or make it day. Pass the night. You know what I mean. <laughs> let's sleep. Uh, right here is the bed. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll just uh, basically we'll we'll get a couple of blocks and uh, make ourselves a crafting bench and some wooden. We'll probably just make a wooden pickaxe, and then um, from there we can get some stone tools going at least, and that at least get us started, I guess, uh, with this. Let's see, where can we? Let's just chop down this tree, or punch down this tree, I guess. Maybe we make a wooden axe, like hand axe as well, um, just so we can chop down the tree a little bit more quickly. Grab a handful of, uh, of oak, dark oak blocks real quick. And then we can, uh, and then we can make a, a crafting table and a couple of basic tools. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We got ourselves a crafting table. Let's make a couple of sticks. Uh, four sticks is enough. Let's make eight sticks. Okay, we can plop down our crafting table, and then let's get a let's just get an axe going, and uh, oh, I guess we'll get a pickaxe going as well. That way we can kind of have uh, a few tools, and we can kind of get this tree knocked down a little bit more quickly. It's not that much faster though, is it? Um, but we'll knock down this tree and then we can get some stone. I don't want to dig into anybody's stuff though, like I don't want to impede on anybody, but at the same time, I mean they did basically say I could build wherever, so I'm just going to dig a little hole and uh, and get some stone. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't want to dig through this. It's it's kind of it's kind of lame, so and just do it a little bit faster like this. There we go, there's some stone. Okay, so there's three cobblestone. And... Two. No? Two. There we go. Stone, pickaxe. There we go, pickaxe of stone. So yeah, we're playing with this pirate language setting too. This is going to be a little bit interesting, I think, um, and kind of change it up some. But anyway, I'm going to get some basic things together and kind of get set up, get uh, settled in on the server. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely see you guys next time.